Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Who is Better? I am your host and judge today, Daniel, joined by my other two hosts. It's Berman. And Chris, man. Yep. Season two, episode six right here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, today we have two special wrestlers going head to head. So, Chris, who is the wrestler you are representing today, and why are you representing this wrestler? I'm representing Keith Lee today, and I'm representing him because he's one of my favorite upcoming new guys. I mean, he's not new, but I've discovered him recently through AEW, so it was a lot of fun to do some research on him, and I, I think I, I think I got this. All right, fair, fair response, and uh, Berman, who is the wrestler you are supporting today, and why are you representing him? I'm representing Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe. I love him. I always loved watching him in TNA and Ring of Honor. So I've been, I've wanted to pick him more. And I think Samoa Joe's a lot better. All right. All right. Fair response, too. So they both have their reasons for supporting this wrestler. Keith Lee, represented by Chris versus Samoa Joe, represented by Berman. Who is the better wrestler in the all time? Uh, list i guess you could say that we have which we're gonna have to review one day this is getting quite complicated <laughs> but anyways let's dive in to the first category the themes and entrances so samoa joe uh, his, has his we theme destroyer and his uh aw slash ring of honor theme currently uh collision clash i might have said that wrong <laughs> anyways uh keith lee it uh, has his uh, AEW theme, I Am, and his NXT theme, Limitless. So, first off, Berman, uh, why are these themes better than Chris's choices? All right, so the Samo Samoa Joe's freaking um, music is just sounds so good. First, in WWE's, he's probably one of his best musics he has. is just has a nice... Every time you hear it, it just sounds like you want to chant. You want to chant... Joe, 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 and you just want to hear this. You can hear the kind of. It kind of sounds. It kind of really sounds Samoan when you come in the ring. It does sound like this. He's the Samoan submission machine. People call him, and it does have this kind of Samoan vibe. And it has this really brutal, like this uh, fierceness that he will really want to punch someone. Really, he's a big fist fighter, and this Coliseum, uh, the Cataclysm Clash, I would say. From AEW, this sounds really good. It has this kind of more like menacing. It's really more menacing when you, it's like more threatening. When like it's pretty much a, a good metaphor would be like a beast is walking into the territory and just really like in this, this you're inside the beast's territory, very scared for your life against Samoa. This is kind of like to me. I just love these type of themes. It just has more me menacing. They're really menacing when you hear these two music and it sounds. And it really gives you hyped to hear to hear these two music chant with them. All right, and then uh, that's Berman's reasons right there. Uh, Chris, what are yours? My my reasoning is simple. Yes, you may have the Joe chant, but do you have the glory chant, Berman? I don't think so. Well, he leaves themes even from WWE A AEW. It just evolves, man. He's the big man. He is the phenomenal one. He is Keith Lee. And every time he goes out there with his team, you know who he is. The crowd always chants entirely for his name. And you also get those awesome... Like, his theme is so good from, like, the NXT era. It pretty much just evolved all the way to the AEW thing we have today. And then those are the... Uh, we rise in his glory chants. They always, they always get me, man. So for that reason, you gotta pick Keith Lee. And if you don't, you don't have, <gasps> you don't have the Samoa. The Samoa is gonna kill you, or Joe's gonna kill you. Chance, because that, a lot of people love doing that during his entrances of Samoa Joe. It says Joe is gonna kill you. Samoa is gonna kill you. Between between both of those, and it sounds more menacing when you hear that than than the glorious chance. I'm sorry, Bourbon, but the only thing that's gonna kill Samoa is Joe is his diabetes. Thank you. 
That's brutal. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> about Keith Lee. Don't do that, dude. Keith Lee is the better shape that Samoa Joe will ever be. And he, he doesn't oh, get no. injured. He's skinnier than Samoa Joe. Ooh, he's not scared because he's scary because he's going to pick up Samoa Joe and break Samoa. him because how fragile Samoa he is. Joe's skinnier. Samoa Joe is skinnier than Keith Lee. Keith Lee is more like a bear. Bears are awesome and strong. Not like Samoa yeah, Joe. He's a cupcake. Samoa is probably great white than freaking Samoa than freaking Keith Lee. He's skinnier. So I don't think you're going to beat that. Bro, I can see Samoa Joe at my local Hawaiian barbecue restaurant. I see like three of them. You're probably going to see. I mean, you're going bit, <laughs> to get bitten. Yeah, he's going to bite you because he thinks you're a sandwich. Got it. Don't start anything. <laughs> Don't start anything, or else I can start a little bit more heavier with you. Perfect. Don't start I, anything, perfect. I love how every time we do these fucking debates, I always have to fat shame the wrestlers. Like every time. Every we do not time. advocate uh, fat shame on this channel, folks. Hey, you started it, Chris. You started this whole thing. I didn't want to do it, but I. You started it. I finished. I'm gonna. I started. I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna end up with you. I'm gonna fat shame. Keith Lee. Don't you dare. He's all muscle. Yeah, all so, muscle and probably more fat. No! Is it time for me to step in? Yes, please. So we don't uh, have to talk about this more. So, ladies and gentlemen, we did only really talk about Chance and Fat Shame the other. So, um, I can't really say <laughs> anything that these two actually said about the themes. Um, but yeah, they both have their chance. They're both they're both overweight by doctors probably, but they both are, are great great people. So we don't care. But overall, uh, I think both of these guys have good themes. However, I think the person that has the better themes is Keith Lee. Yes. So Samo Joe zero, Keith Lee one. Next category. The second category are the finishers. You got uh, Samoa Joe. He got the muscle buster. And you got the submission coquina clutch. And then for Keith Lee, he has the big bang uh, catastrophe and the spirit bomb. So, Chris, why does Keith Lee have better finishers than uh, Samoa Joe? I feel like, and I know they're not the most amazing thing ever. Like, let's be realistic here. It's just a power bomb, and his other thing is more of a scoop. But honestly, for what it is, I think it fits Keith Lee more than anything since he is a bigger guy. And sure, it's basic, but however, when he does his finishers, dude, you can literally feel the impact of the ring shake because of how harsh and hard the guy does it, dude. And with the right opponents, it's, it's a masterpiece. So... Yeah, I'm going to keep it simple, just like Keith Lee's finishers. So Berman, All right, Berman, your rebuttal. All right, so for me, I pick uh, the Muscle Buster and the Coquita Clutch. Muscle Buster is probably one of the most recognizable finishers. And, and more in the wrestling business, everyone knows that Samoa Joe's finisher is this Muscle Buster, a great uh, some power a great power move. Just puts him on the ring, puts him on his shoulders, and just really shoulder and just lands him right on the head great move he used this pretty much everywhere and spec except a w uh, sorry except uh wwe because of stuff that happened with one wrestler i'm not going to mention him that much but technically it did happen once and it's almost career but that shows how badly uh, the person took it i would say of that but i think the muscle buster just has more impact and technically he when he does that muscle buster, you see the ring shake when you see that. It happens a lot. And even when muscle buster is done avalanche style, which means on top rope, that have done it twice against Finn Balor. So it, it happens and it's more brutal. Then the Kokita Clutch, which is the sleeper hold. Great sleeper hold. That's why he's called the Samoan Samoan submission machine because it is how good his submissions work and his Kokita Clutch can make someone go to sleep very quickly. I love it. It's very simple because it's a very simple sleeper, but it just picks them up, just makes them go to sleep, either sleeping or just tapping out. And that's how good I feel like this, these three, they're very simple too. Well, except the muscle buster, but 
I think the muscle cluster has more impact and just more it's more devastating I feel like than than this and even the submission it just it looks more brutal when you see Samoa Joe do it to someone else than a skinny guy doing a a doing a sleeper hold against another skinny guy I feel like a bigger guy we doing a sleeper hold is a lot me, uh, better and a lot meaner. All right. And then, Chris, anything you would like to say in response? No. I'll let you take it away, Daniel. Okay. I think you both give good reasons here uh, for your finishers. However, I am going to have to give it to one individual, and that individual is going to be Samoa Joe. Now, he has injured... Uh, multiple people using that move which is tragic however uh, I will say that the muscle buster is undeniably one of the best finishers out there it is again devastating and brutal and not that the spirit bomb and big bang catastrophe are bad moves they are very good moves and they are pretty good finishers as well but muscle buster is on a whole nother level and usually I don't like sleeper holds uh, you know as someone's finisher because literally I feel like anyone can do a sleeper hold, uh, but Smojo has the best sleeper hold in the game. Uh, so I'm going to have to just give the point to Samojo. So Samojo won. Keith Lee won. Next category. The next category is the overall move set. Uh, I'm going to let uh, Chris uh, start off here and let Berman respond. And yeah, if these two have anything to say after that, that will be up to them. I'd like to see again. Keith Lee, he is pretty good. It is standard stuff. However, he's not just like your average like basic set guy. He is a heavy set dude. So again, points for him because he's very athletic too. Because there are moments in times where during his matches where he can actually demonstrate it, given the right time and the appropriate opponent. Because man, he the shit he does with the rope breaks and then honestly his backflip moves not too familiar with the wrestling terms still trying to get the hang of it or whatnot but there's so many variety moves that this guy can have and what i enjoy him the most like he always gets you like throughout all of his matches from what i've seen from the wwe nxt and uh even pwg right that's what it's called from his indie days correct yes all right cool it's just like it just transfer all. Like there's always never a dull moment with this guy. Even with jobbers, you can always just pick him up, throw him. He uses his height, his weight to his advantage, so it fits him well. So for this overall move set, I'm gonna give it to Keith Lee. Alright. For me, I I don't give you any doubt on that. I, I do love how you can, you can underestimate a guy who is pretty fat and he can do these flips very quick really easily for size. But Samoa Joe doesn't need that stuff. Samoa Joe is what we, is the submission machine. That's what a lot of people call him too. He has a lot of great submission versions, and he can do a suicide dive for him through the ropes that he likes doing in a few matches. But a big thing he loves doing is doing his strikes, his combos. He likes doing the machine gun punches into the into the abdomen, and then he goes right to the face. Nice combos. He likes doing fist fights. He does his kicks. He does his chops. His kicks are very brutal. He does that uh, senton in the corner into the Ezeguri. Great move to use. But his submissions are just great. He does a great combination of using the power bomb, the witches, as soon as the person kicks out of that, goes into Boston Crab. And then he thinks it's going to be changed. He changes it into a cross face. It's a great transition. He has great uh, submission transitions to each other. And I just love how his moveset complements how he how he works because his Kokita clutch, his finisher is a submission too, so it works for his type of submission game style and his heavy hitting style too. So for him, I th I'm going to give it to Small. Man, so both these guys have fantastic move sets. So yeah, this is tough. This is tough. Smojo is indeed the Samoan submission machine. One of the best in the game when it comes to that department. But Keith Lee, Keith Lee is fantastic as well, man. You can have a high flying uh, cruiserweight style match. You can have a giant Goliath kind of match. You can have a storytelling kind of match. You can have really a lot of different matches with Keith Lee. Um, yeah, this is tough, y'all. 
They both have fantastic move sets, but just by a hair, the winner of this category is going to be Keith Lee. So Samojo one, Keith Lee two. Next category. The next category is the overall move set. I mean, not move overall move set. Uh, it is the mic skills. Yes, the mic skills. So my bad, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, mic skills. Uh, so, Berman, I would like you to go first. Does Samoa Joe have the better mic skills? And if so, why? I think he does. My, and his mic skills, he has been doing as, as a face, anti-hero, and as a heel. More as a heel than anything else. His mic skills can tell a story very well. And a good, match, a good comparison would be in his TNA a eras. And in his NXT eras, when he was fighting against Finn Balor for the championship, one of the best matches you've probably watched with all three of them. The his emotions when he talks to people in these in the matches, as his promos are just great. It, it pretty much more like he threatens someone so like aggressively. And even when he was in the main roster. The biggest thing was that Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles rivalry, where Samoa Joe pretty much effed, like said, "Hey, hey, I think your, your, I think your family needs a new daddy. I can be your daddy now." Like that's just brutal. Like one of the most messed up. Someone says until uh, probably Eddie Guerrero said that stuff for Mysterio, but like Jesus Christ, Samoa Joe, no filter whatsoever. He talks about that. And he didn't just. He, he can. He pretty much has this brutal mind games. He has mind games just like Randy Orton. He can pretty much, pretty much has the most mentalist mind games that make people just pissed off or make someone just crap themselves or shit themselves. It, that's his mic skills just makes someone feel threatened. And I just feel like his mic skills just have this uh, uh, ominence that he just says, I don't care whatever you feel, I will make you hurt inside and out. That's what I feel about his mic skills. That's true, Berman. But Samoa Joe talks with elegancy. Samoa Joe is just a rough Tillian person of a wrestler compared to Keith Lee's speech. It's beautiful. The man speaks poetry and he sounds like a philosopher at times. So, yeah, take that, Berman. <laughs> yeah, very slow talking. He doesn't need to talk fast, man. He, his words are like his punches, they go hard. They sting, and you'll learn something, a thing or two. Same with Samoa Joe, but instead of learning, you get hurt. Oh, I mean, he hurt himself. <laughs> That's not a good argument whatsoever, dude. <laughs> I don't know. You're not going to make anything. It's like, I'm going <laughs> to hurt you, and you're going to learn a lesson that you don't want to threat on me. That's what Samoa Joe thinks about your, your rebuttal. He's... Keith Lee doesn't have time for violence, man. He's a philosopher that uses violence sometimes. Except this heel, because I hate him as a heel, but we'll, we'll get to it when we get there. Okay. So, uh, anything else you'd have to say, Berman? Nope. I'm sorry enough. All right. So, whenever uh, Chris meant by that hurt comment, he's referring to Keith Lee, not Keith Lee. Samoa Joe being a guy who gets injured a lot, which is true. He does get hurt a lot. However, that is not relevant to the Mike Skills category. That's true. So, uh, with that being said, though, yes, Keith Lee does sound like a <laughs> philosopher at times. However, Samoa Joe is one of the very best in the game on the mic. And when I say one of the best, I literally mean like top five best in the mic today. Like, very few can be better than Samoa Joe on the microphone. So because of that, I'm going to have to give it to Samoa Joe. Now, Samoa Joe 2, Keith Lee 2, next category. The next category, who is the better face? Now, Chris, is Keith Lee the better face? I think so. <clears throat> I prefer him as a face. And he ended there just for the fact, like I said, he's like more of a mentor do dude, excuse me, with his old tag team thing he has with Swerve, you know, he he's just a lovable guy, dude. 
He's Keith Lee. And everywhere he goes, even like his the fans love him. They love his theme song. They love his wrestling time. He's just the guy you always want to cheer for. Sure, he's not like your grunty, like edgy anti hero, but he's a good baby face. He's he's perfect for the role because he does promos good, and when he gets an attack off screen, you feel sorry for the guy and you want him to do good. So he plays it off very well. So Keith Lee is definitely meant for the role. Yeah. So for me, I don't really agree with it. I do agree with that still, but I think Smojo is a good heel, a good face because of how he has been doing it in NXT and how he's been doing it in AEW. NXT he has been a kind of half and half sometimes as an anti-hero and more as a hero style. He started as a hero when he was playing when he was tag teaming with Finn Balor for the Dusty Cup. And it was pretty good. Everyone was cheering for them to win this whole thing. They did win it eventually. And after that he turned heel because he wanted that championship more. Pretty much, and so I think Mojo has this uh, nice side. He's he's a face sometimes, depending on his style. And in AEW, he's he's more like an anti to me or a face. Like a lot of people love him, some people hate him, some people. But he still gets that chant of "Joe is going to kill you," which more or less sounds more like an anti-hero. So for me, as a face, I I'm gonna give it to Mojo because I feel like he's. He's a he's okay. He's a good face to root for. He's more of an anti-hero to kind of root for and want someone wants if you want someone to, to beat up when you're hated wrestlers, let Mojo do that for you. That's what it's a. All right, Chris. Anything you'd like to respond? No, sir. I'll let you take it away. All right. Yeah, this is going to be quick. I don't think either of these guys are bad faces. However, one is way better at this than the other. That's going to have to go to Keith Lee. Keith Lee, like Chris said, he is just a face by nature. And Samoa Joe, he is a good face, but it's just not what he is naturally best at. So yeah, Keith Lee, three points. Samoa Joe, two points. Next category. Next category, who's the better heel? Uh, Berman. Is Samoa Joe the belly heel, and if so, why? Oh, absolutely. Freaking Samoa Joe in, is probably one of the best heels in any promotion that he's in. Raw, sorry, WWE, NXT, Ring of Honor, A, no, not AW yet, but TNA. He is probably one of the best heels in every promotion, every pr- promotion he has been in. He is just psychological. Uh, same as his mic skills. He can pretty much psych you out. He's just a mean ass heel. An example I did say in Mike Skills, and I said again, that shows how mean he is as a heel is Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles, where he said that, oh, I think your family needs a new daddy. I'm going to be your daddy. That is how how messed up he is, how heel, how he can be as heel. And he has been doing this a lot. He's changed a lot. He did the same thing with a lot of different people. And it, uh, he did with uh, Finn Balor, he does it with a bunch of different people. He did it with uh, Miz, I think. He did it with Brock Lesnar. Oh, Brock Lesnar, not that much. He was half and half. But I think he's probably one of the best heels of Samoa Joe. He's one of the best. Of the best. <laughs> can I? Uh, and can I say one thing, Daniel? Absolutely. Um. Yeah, well, Samoa Joe doesn't have a cool name like Bearcat. <laughs> what? Bearcat is the coolest name ever. I just give it to him. I can't admit it. it's so bad. I think I lost the debate, right? Because <laughs> he's like, yeah, hey. he, he did. Yeah, I was like Bearcat. I was like, God damn it, Vince. Yeah, it's it's tough. So, yeah, I'm not. I don't even have to go in depth. Uh, Samoa Joe three. Keith Lee's three. Final category. The seventh and last category is the best match. Uh, I'll let Berman explain his best match first. I'll let Chris explain his best match second. If they want to counterpoint each other, that's up to them. Uh, but then I'll be making my verdict after these two speak what they have to say. For me, 
the Samoa's best match is in a TNA Unbreakable 2005, AJ Styles versus Christopher Daniels and Samoa Joe. This was for a championship. It was probably one of the best matches that they have. They had two matches, and I know both of them are pretty good. This one, for me, I feel like it's one of the best for me. And it has just so many great moments, great memorable moments for these all three of these. And all these great styles clashes, the moonsaults, the Samojo flying through the ropes into a forum in a group of them. It was a great, one of the best matches of all time in any in any wrestling promotion. Probably one of the best. And that's all I have to say about this one for me. That's good. And I'm actually going to do something from the indie scene, funny enough. Like, he really does have some decent stuff, but I know for a fact I'm going to butcher this guy's name. So, like, it, it's going to happen. So, for the match that I picked, it was Keith Lee versus Donovan. Da- Ovik. Da- Do- okay, you said it, not me. <laughs> At his BW Battle of Los Angeles. Now, these guys have fought in time and time again from their NXT days. Even maybe a couple matches here and here and there on WWE, but quite frankly, this is such a good showcase between these two guys. Because from a, well, there's not much of a story, but I guess from the personal life, they were just starting around this time, and they're just going absolutely mentally hard. Like there were so many moments with Keith Lee and Don. Uh, th- 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 <laughs> I can't pronounce it. For me, you pronounce the last name. Ovik. Okay, there you go. It's fine. So, like I said, there's many moments where these two were fighting in the crowd. And, and God, by God, even though it was a small little indie show, it didn't need to go this hard. And quite frankly, it showed a case of many abilities of Keith Lee of the most athletic ability that I've seen around this time. Because he was just trying to go out. And it just goes up and up from here, unfortunately, un- until, like, you know, the whole Bearcat thing. But that, we're not going to get into that. But the match itself was good. It was decent. Unfortunately, if you do want to see the match, you do have to go like on these fishy like Japanese sites and Chinese sites because for some strange reason it's not available on YouTube except for like the highlight reels. But overall, it's a good indication of what these two would eventually become in their future selves. And it's a great match and it still holds up today. So I'm going to give it to my boy, Keith Lee. Okay. Uh, any final things you guys would like to say? No. No, sir. All right. Both these matches are fantastic, man. However, one is a masterpiece. An absolute masterpiece. Not my friends. It's going to go to Berman's match. Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, and AJ Styles for the X Division title at TNA Unbreakable 2005. Therefore, your winner. And the overall better wrestler of all time is Samoa Joe. So, any final thoughts, guys? No, it was a good match. I It was fun to debate between these two. All right, fair for Berman. And you, Chris? I, I got a couple of better jokes. <laughs> That's what I got to do. I got a couple of better jokes. If I can't argue, I got a couple of better written material on me for future debates. Oh, no. Oh, no. You'll be better, for, ladies right. and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for watching this episode. It's been fun. I've been Daniel. I've been Berman. I'm Chris, man. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Take it easy.